Hello YouTube. Alright, this is Burger 414 here. And today I am starting a new series. And this is the first of my new series, which is entitled Simple Computer Basics. Okay, this tutorial is uh, created for those that are not computer uh, knowledgeable. Okay, okay, so I'm uh, offering this service for those of you that want to learn about technology and computers and um, I will do my best to uh, help you understand it because some of the courses that you may see online people are going too fast and they're using words that you've never heard of so I'm going to try to simplify that for you okay now so let's get started back to what I was uh, getting started with what you see on your computer screen right now is what we call the desktop okay this is where everything happens okay now every computer has a desktop and every computer has what they call an operating system an operating system is a program that operates the computer okay without an operating system your computer will not be able to function okay all right now this thing that you see floating around here okay it looks like a little bug or whatever you want to call it this is called the cursor okay this is what you use to point to uh, point to mount on the, on the computer and to click on what you want. This is almost like the enter button on the keyboard. Okay? This is probably used more than the keyboard. The keyboard is used mostly for texting, writing programs, okay, editing files, and stuff like that. Okay? This cursor here, okay, is a um, what you use mostly if you're not using your keyboard okay every computer should come with at least the three basic parts okay all right the next thing I mentioned about the desktop your desktop doesn't always have to look like this you can change your desktop to have different pictures okay this is the basic picture. When you first buy a computer, this is the first thing that you would normally see. But you do have the option to change it. And I will show you how to do that. Okay? With the cursor, alright? This is this is what's connected to the mouse. Alright? The mouse is the thing that, that you move around with your hand. Okay, and it has it should have two buttons and a little wheel at the middle of it okay that is your standard mouse okay now with that mouse you're going to click the button on the right okay that's where your middle finger is all right so you click that and this little menu comes up okay some people like to refer to it as a pop-up menu because it pops up on your screen okay and this menu uh, kind of asks you what you want to do. Well, I want to change this desktop. So, like I said, I've right-clicked anywhere. You can right-click anywhere on this on the screen. And then you're going to move your cursor down to where it says Personalize. And then you click it. Then this window comes up. Okay, now if you notice up here at the top in the blue, it says change the visuals and sounds on your computer. Okay, all these are previews of what your screen will look like on the computer. Okay, 
Now, as you can see, I could move this window around. Okay? And how I'm doing that is with the cursor, I move it over to this blank area up here on the top of the window, and I click and hold it and move the mouse. Okay? And that's how I'm moving it. Alright? Now, like I said earlier, I want to change this desktop. So I'm going to pick one of these, what they call themes. Okay? Now, if you notice, over here, in this area here, this is called the slider. Okay? What you do is you click on it, and you slide it up and down. Like that. Okay, when you see something like this, that means that you can slide it. If there's nothing there, then uh, of course you won't be able to move anything. Okay, but this is what it does. Do you see that? Okay. So, I'm going to pick a theme. And uh, let's see. Um... Uh, Let's find something decent. I think I will choose landscapes. Okay. Now, you see what happened? I click that, and what that does is it tells the computer to change the settings to make my, my screen look like the picture. Okay. And there it is. Okay. Now, in every window that you click on, or that you open, okay, has these three buttons here. Okay, this button is called the minimize button. And if you, what they call mouse over it, it tells you what it does. Minimizes. What that means is that it's not going to get rid of the window, it's going to put it in the taskbar, which is down here at the bottom. Okay? The second button is called Maximize. So now, if you had this window minimized, you would click on it, and it would open it back up, and then when you click on it again, it makes it big. And it fills the screen. Okay, as you can see. Now I'm going to minimize it again because I don't really need to see this much. Okay, that's what I did. Okay, now let me do that again because I want to show you something. Okay, now as you notice, now there's two little boxes in that same button on that same button. And if you mouse over it, it restores it back to its original size. That's what restore down means. So, I'm going to click it. And it's back to its original size. Okay? Now, the last button, the one with the X, and it's usually red. Okay? This is the close button. This closes the window and, and, re, and ends the program or process that you're doing. Okay, so when I click on it, it says goodbye. Okay, and now I've choose the new theme and all the sounds that are associated with that theme. Now, the cool thing about Windows 7 is that with these themes, it can be presented as a slideshow. Now, I'm going to show you how that works. Alright, so now I'm going to click and bring up that pop up menu again. Go back to personalize. Click it. Okay. And there's that window again. Now, I will move my cursor down to the bottom over here. Okay, 
and you can kind of customize the way you want this theme to work. Okay? Now here, it's telling me the desktop background is being presented as a slideshow. Okay? Now if you notice, when I mouse over the words desktop background, it gets underlined or highlighted, if you will. Okay? So I'm going to click on it. And then this comes up. Okay? So now you can choose the, the, the picture that you want with those themes. Or you can unchoose. If you notice, all these pictures have checks in them. That means that all of these pictures are going to be displayed in the slideshow. Okay? And down here is where I wanted to show you. Okay, you have this menu here, which kind of shows the alignment. Okay, this is what they call a drop down menu because you see this little triangle here? Actually, that's referred to as an arrow. That means that it's a drop down menu. And if you click on this button, then a drop down will show you what, what the options are. Okay? And here, uh, this, the picture it will change like in this case the default uh, time is 30 minutes so that means every 30 minutes the picture is going to change to one of these other pictures okay but I don't want that so I'm going to drop it down okay and I'm going to select 3 minutes okay so every 3 minutes my desktop is going to change and it usually changes like right now it's showing this picture here the next picture will show is this one and then the next one this one and then the next and the next here okay but I can change that option as well if I click this box where it says shuffle that means that these pictures will click in a random order okay now as you see as I move this uh, menu up and down I don't have to necessarily take all the pictures I, I don't necessarily have to have all these pictures I can uncheck some of these and choose something here or something here or here or whatever okay okay so that's how you personalize your desktop okay and to get out of this once you've made the choice you click this button here that says save changes okay three minutes and I click save changes and that's what it's going to do. Alright. So. That's going to be all for today. For this uh, series. Please watch for more. Okay. I will upload them as, as, as soon as possible. And um, I hope. Uh, I hope these series will help you. And to give you a little bit more knowledge so that you can catch up with everybody else that is computer knowledgeable. Okay, so this is Burger 414 and I'm signing off and thank you for watching.